guys and welcome back to Wonder Walkers. Today I am not joined by the other half of Wonder Walkers, Kaylee. She's actually busy today doing her own stuff so this might happen every now and then where we can't be together in the same videos but that's okay. In this video today I really want to give you some tips on how to choose the right destination if you've never been overseas before. The first tip I want to talk about today is distance. And what I mean by distance is how far you have to travel to actually get to that place. If you've never been overseas before, then it's probably not a good idea to go halfway across the world on maybe a 14 or 15 hour flight for your very first time. So I would recommend if you're going overseas for the very first time to try to fly to somewhere that's only a couple of hours away. Long haul flights to far flung places across the world could leave you jet lagged and tired from the moment that you arrive and you really don't want to have that for your very first trip. In my own personal experience, I had never been on a plane before 2014. That was when I went on my first overseas trip to New Zealand. So I definitely did not want to go on a long haul flight of 8 to 10 or even 12 to 13 hours. Um, so we went to New Zealand, Kaylee and I in 2014. That's only a three hour flight, so that was a really good uh, flight for me for my first trip overseas. The second thing to consider when you're heading overseas for the very first time is to plan a trip around your interests and your hobbies. For example, if one of your biggest interests is surfing, then why not go to a place where you can surf and enjoy the time because that is an interest to you so you can have more fun doing it. For me, like I said before, my first trip was to New Zealand. This was a really great place for me to visit for my first trip because I'm really interested in the outdoors and doing travel photography and landscape photography. So that was a perfect playground for me where I could take photos of mountains and sunsets and lakes and forests and everything like that. The third thing to consider when planning your trip is what is popular. Figuring out what is a popular place to travel to is really, really easy. Think about all the places that your friends, your family and your work colleagues are raving on and on about. Most of the popular places will have a lot of deals on things like flights and hotels. The reason that there's a lot of deals going for these popular places is because they are popular. So the more people that are going, the more uh, services they're going to offer. My first trip overseas to New Zealand again fits in with this uh, perfectly. So New Zealand is the most popular place for Australians to travel to outside of Australia. So that is a popular place. Most of my family and friends and some old workmates have all been there so they were all able to recommend things and and tell me how amazing it was. So that was another reason why we picked New Zealand as my first destination overseas. So to sum up the top three tips for choosing your first overseas destination is to pick something that's not too far away. Secondly, to plan something around your hobbies and your interests. And thirdly, to go to a place that's popular that you know friends, family and workmates have been to. If you like these tips, head over to our website wonderwalkers.com where there are plenty more articles and travel tips for free. You can also follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And make sure you click subscribe to this channel, Wonder Walks. We put out a lot of travel vlogs and a lot of travel tip videos like this and we would love to know your feedback so let us know in the comments below what we did well and what we don't do well and we would love to hear what you would like to see from us next so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video